about to make me some of that right now. About to make me some pasta. No, not quite. What do you oh. think you're doing? Lighting a candle? I'm trying to make some pasta. Do you always light your stove like that? Well, they said they fixed it. They replaced the igniter. I don't think that was the problem. Looks like that didn't work. No. No, not quite. Would you like a quick video from your favorite YouTube channel, Smash Engineering, to fix this? I mean, yeah, I didn't think that video existed. Would you make it for me? I'll put in a good word for you. Smash engineering. Welcome back to this episode of Smash Engineering. Today, we're working on a stove. Now, if you have a gas stove, you've probably run into an issue like this over the period of owning it. There's three things that can cause this not to light. One being, you didn't pay the bill. I can't help you there. Two being the igniter. I could help you there, but that's not the problem here because we already paid someone to change the igniter. And it only worked for that day because they were here and it was hot and it would light every time. The very next day, it went right back to doing the same thing. Didn't feel like making another call. It's COVID season. I really don't want more people in the house. So we're going to avoid that. The next one is a fuel or gas delivery problem. So what we have here is this is your burner and if you take off this is not bolted on it just kind of sits there by weight same thing with like this one back here but you can take that off set it aside normally there's two screws or bolts whatever you want to call them that go down in there and what happens is fuel comes up through the center hole here it comes up hits the bottom of this plate here it smushed out these holes and a little bit goes through a small hole can't really see it because it's all clogged right here where the igniter is at. So you have this on the opposite side and this sits over top of it. You can kind of see the U shape there, but it sits over top of it and it creates a little tiny combustion chamber, so to speak, where the fuel, the gas mixes with your ignition and causes the whole thing to poof. So if that gets clogged, which is what I suspect happened here, you will not get the gas flow through there and because gas goes up and this is releasing it above the igniter it's not going to ignite or it'll be really tough to get it ignited and then you end up using one of these and kind of feeling goofy every time you do that especially if you have company over so we're going to take that awkwardness out of the situation we're going to show you how to fix that so what you're going to need is some drill bits good old harbor freight and, sorry for the mess here, a drill. And what you wanna do, we're not drilling this hole bigger. I found a drill bit that is specced to the exact size hole I have here. Now, I'm not saying you couldn't drill it bigger. It shouldn't really cause an issue because right above it, you have these huge holes, but I don't really think you want flame on your igniter all the time. I may be wrong, I don't know. I'm just knowing that this is the problem. You should be able to see through this. And as you can see there, if you zoom in, the hole is obstructed with grease and grime and I don't know, maybe even corrosion from, from this metal here. I, I'm not sure, but something has maybe overflowed and clogged it up. So I know that this is the exact size that this hole is supposed to be. So what I'm going to do, we're not re-engineering, we're doing a maintenance. We're going to be super careful. We're not making the hole bigger or oblonging it, we're just going to insert this here and go at a slow rpm until you feel it starting to go in and then oh there it popped and if i flip this over we should be able to see the drill bit through there and that's your port so your gas fills up around here and then it wants to come out that hole into your port and now you can actually see right through it there 
and that should allow gas through. So let's go ahead and set this back on there. It's super, super, super simple fix, but it can cause such an aggravation if you don't know what the problem is. So I'm not gonna put the screws back in. The screws, all these two screws do is hold this down. So if you wanna leave the screws out and be able to clean this better and then set it back on there, that's up to you. I'm gonna put the screws back in, but for video's sake, not at the moment, we're gonna give this a good test. Now, this usually took way too, oh wow, look at that. It didn't even, wow. Wow. You're making pasta in no time with that. So I hope that can help you out. If you know someone's having this trouble, tag them, send them the video. We could use the subscribers, we could use the support. Um, but yeah, so this is a Kenmore stove, um, gas stove, but most gas stoves all work the same. They all have some type of little gas port, um, at least modern stoves, to allow the igniter to jump across and get a little fuel. So if that, that gets clogged or whatever, that'll be why you're using that. Now the other reason, would be your igniter here, and this is accessed from underneath. This is the igniter piece here, and you can buy them at a place called like Repair Clinic online. You can get whatever igniter you need, and it's just simply bolted on, and you can remove that and change it, and it's got a little one, one wire. I'm not gonna get into that, because that's clearly not our problem, as we've paid to have that fixed. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this episode helps you. I hope you can help someone with it, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.